Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, Mass D1 Digital Science Bull Academy. Today, our lecture is related to chapter 17, which is statistical data handling. I am going to explain you chapter exercise 17B. Your book is New Slavers Mathematics to D2 Maths. First, I am going to explain you question number 14. Before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe to the channel. Now let's come to the lecture. Question number 14 is two classes each with 21 students. So total number of students are given, which are 21. Took a physical fitness test. The number of pull-ups done by each student in 30 seconds was recorded. Here the data is given in two tables and there are two classes, secondary 2A and secondary 2B. A number of pull-ups and number of students are given in both tables. So in part 1, they are saying that explain, explain why we are unable to calculate the mean number of pull-ups done by the students in each class. Students, here you can see that in the first column, three students are given for less than and equal to five pull-ups. And in the last column, one student is given for greater than and equal to ten pull-ups. So combine here, uh, the number of students who did pull-ups less than and equal to five and greater than and equal to ten are grouped together. So we cannot find out the mean. So you write down the answer that the number of pull-ups, the students who did Plus less than and equal to 5 and greater than and equal to 10 are grouped together. So we cannot find out the mean. So this is the answer of first part you write down the students who did pull-ups less than equal to 5 and greater than equal to 10 are grouped together because students we can see that total three students are given for all this and total master is given for all this so they are grouped together so we cannot find out the mean we know to find out the mean we need proper data okay so now let's come to second part the second part is find the median number of pull-ups done by the students in each class now you have to find out the median in second part so students in part you have to find out the median. Alright. So here um, first we'll find out the median of secondary two age students. For this you have to make the table. Here number of pull-ups are given. And number of students is basically the frequency. This was remember that whenever you want to find out the median, you have to find out the cumulative frequency. The pull-ups are less than and equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, and greater than and equal to 10. And the number of students are 3, 7, double 4, 2, 1. Okay, so here you have to find out the cumulative frequency. To find out the cumulative frequency, you have to add up all the frequencies in the next. Here is 3, so you will add 3, in, uh, you will add 7 and 3, you will get 10. Now you will add 4 in 10, you will get 14. You will add 4 in 14, you will get 18. And then you will add 2, you will get 20. And then you will add 1, you will get 20. So first remember that this total frequency, total number of students are given, they are 21. So when you will add up all this value, you will also get 21. So this last community frequency and the total frequency should match, should be equal. It means that you are finding it right. Here you have found the cumulative frequency. Now what you need to do is, you have to see that, you have to use the formula, which is n plus 1 over 2, to find out that which value is the median. So you will use the formula n plus 1 over 2. n is basically 21, n is a total frequency. And the total frequency, you write down 21 plus 1 over 2. So you will get 22 over 2 and when you will divide you will get 11. So students what you need to do is you have to see the cumulative frequency. You have to see this value of the cumulative frequency. And you have to all you have to and you all should uh, go for the bigger cumulative frequency. Here you can see that 11 is nearer to 10 and 14. But you should choose the bigger numbers. You should choose the bigger number with bigger cumulative frequency which is 40. So you have you the value which lies which is according to this 14 is 7. So it means that 7 is your median. So your median is 7. So this was your answer. Okay. G. Now in the same way you have to find out the median of secondary 2 B students. So let's find out. Okay, so now we are going to find out the median of secondary 2B students. Okay, 
I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to erase the frequency. Frequency is different. All right. Here the frequency is three four four seven two one. Okay, now again you will use the formula plus 1 over 2, so you will get again total frequency is 21 and when you will divide 22 by 2, you will get 11. So see the frequency, uh, uh, here it is 11, so see the, you have to first, uh, have to find, you have to find out the cumulative frequency, the first one is 3, you will add 4 and 3, you will get 7, so you will add 4 and 7, you will get 11, 11 plus 7 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20 and 20 plus 1. You can see that last community frequency and total frequency are equal. So here you have to see that where 11 lies. Okay, 11 lies over here. So here you can see that the cumulative frequency is 7. The cumulative, oh sorry, the median is 7. So in both cases, the median is 7. Median is 7. So here this is your answer of part 2. In secondary, two A script students and secondary, two B students say median is sound. Okay, G. Now, what you need to do is you have to come to the third part, state the model number of pull ups done by the students in each class. Here, you have to find out the mod. Alright, so mod is the value. Whenever the frequency is given, students remember that you have to choose the highest frequency and the value which lies with the highest frequency will be your mod. So, let's find out which is the mod. See the table. Okay, in the table you can see that in scanning two issues, the highest frequency is here. We are going to find out the mod of secondary two A students, and then we'll find out the mod of secondary two B students. Okay, you have to see the frequency which is the greatest one, and here in secondary two A students, the greatest frequency is seven. So the value which lies with seven is six. So your mod is six. And for scanning two B students, see the table, the highest frequency is 7. So the value lies with 7, uh, with 7 is 8. So your mod is 8. Basically, mod is the value which occurs most frequently. So it's the, uh, you have to see the value which occurs most frequently. Here, you can see that six, there are 6 students um, who's uh, here, over here. There are 6 pull-ups and uh, the total number of students are 7, which did, who did 6 pull-ups. And over here, the total number, number of students are 8, who did Mm, total number of students are seven who did eight pull -ups. So here the total um, the most common number is in secondary two student uh, the most common number is seven and in secondary two B students the most common number is um, again seven. So the value which lies with seven is eight and the value which lies uh, with seven is six. So these are your uh, mod. These are the values which are mod, your mod. Okay, in part 4 they are saying that the median or mod gives a better comparison of the number of pull-ups done by the students in the two classes explain your answer. So students answer is very simple whenever we do the comparison mod is always best. So mod is suitable for the comparison. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you to the practice of this one and you will do the practice and this concept will be more clear to you. Uh, take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.